okay, 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 okay. And you guys wonder why I say everybody needs some therapy? This stuff going on between Millie Bobby Brown and Drake is messed up. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from pop culture or the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And exciting announcement real quick, we're only 400 away from 10,000 followers over on Instagram. That's all I want and I promise you once I get to 10,000 followers on Instagram, so I get that swipe up feature, I won't mention it anymore. I will try not to unless there's something cool like a giveaway going on or whatever, but we're so close. So just go over to Instagram, follow me on there. All right, anyways, yeah, like I had a different video planned, but I was going through my comments. A lot of you know I'm very active in my comments. I like talking with all of you. And I was looking at comments and I don't know what it was, but I made a video last week about Millie Bobby Brown talking about Penn Bagley's uh, character in You. And that video is getting a lot of traction today and a lot of comments on it. And I'm sitting there and my head is just going to explode. All right, so like, it's really interesting with videos because all like first, launch it and then you get a lot of feedback and you know, people who don't even watch the video and leave their comments or whatever. And then it seems like a week later, you get a bunch of people who come in and, and like defend poor problematic behavior. So I've been getting a lot of comments like talking about like, oh, leave her alone. She's just a young girl. She's just like, what? What, like, we're talking about how Millie Bobby Brown, a 14 year old girl, thinks an abusive stalker is a good love interest and somebody who just loves his girlfriend. If you guys don't think that that's a problem, you need help. You need to subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell, and, and I don't know what else you need to do with your life. Like, go get therapy or, like, this is such an issue. So, I don't follow up with, like, what Millie Bobby Brown is doing in her life. I watch Stranger Things. That show's my jam. New Godzilla, my son is really pumped for it. I'm kind of pumped for it, too. But a lot of you have been telling me about her relationship with Drake. I'm like, what the heck are you guys talking about? What relationship with Drake? And, oh, my God, I looked into it, and we need to talk, okay? Like, you guys, I cannot stress this enough. Like, so many of you, so many of my subscribers here, if I were to ask you, and feel free to leave a comment down below, if I were to ask you, do you feel that a screwed-up childhood has affected you as an adult? Most of you would say yes. Most of you would say yes. So, like, you guys gotta understand, and here's why I make so many videos on mental health and mental illness, all things related to the mind, okay, is because screwed up kids become screwed up adults and people don't get that, all right? Mental health is not just having a lack of a mental illness, okay? Like, the way that we grow up, the way that we think that things are normal or abnormal, it affects our relationships later on. It affects how we cope with things, okay? This can become very, very troublesome. This is why I try to teach you guys, like if you are a parent, we have to do better. We have to do better as parents in order for our kids to even have a fighting chance of living a life that is mentally healthy and emotionally well, all right? So anyways, Millie Bobby Brown is 14 years old, okay? Drake is a grown ass man in his 30s, all right? And I guess the story goes they met at what, like the Emmys last year or whatever, and now they're like, they're like best of friends, best of friends. So I was reading this article, I'll put a screenshot up here right now, but anyways, like Drake was like texting her and saying that he missed her, like pump the brakes, pump the brakes, okay? I just, I cannot, I cannot imagine any scenario, any scenario, I'm 33, okay? I cannot imagine any scenario where I am talking to a 14 year old girl and telling her that I miss her. That like, no. In, I, in no reality do I see this being okay. And this whole like, we're just friends thing, like, listen Drake, you are like, 
a platinum selling artist, millionaire, multi-millionaire. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Drake had like a billion dollars. Like, get some other friends, bro. Like, you don't need to be taught. Like, here's the other thing, especially with the R. Kelly documentary just coming out, like, if you are an artist, you should be running away from teenage girls like they are the freaking plague, all right? Like, none of this makes sense. And I'm sitting here, and I'm like, where is Millie Bobby Brown's parents in this, right? And this is why, this is why, like, I just made a video about YouTuber burnout and talking about how you really need to understand what you're getting into and stuff. Like, I, I always get worried about child actors. We've seen so many child actors just get messed up, right? Because the lifestyle is different. The lifestyle can cause issues. So I wouldn't be surprised if Millie Bobby Brown's parents are like, oh, this is normal, you know? She just has like famous rapper friend, right? Like, no, no, go hang out with the kids from Stranger Things. Go hang out with some other child stars. Go befriend some kids on the Disney Channel or something. She should not be friends with this grown ass man. All right, like if they wanna say hi, what's up and like maybe have some laughs like at an event, cool. But like this relationship is such an issue. Like my son is 10 years old and he plays Fortnite. I'm 33 and I play Fortnite, right? And I have a bunch of friends who are in their 20s or 30s and they play Fortnite. And I, like when my son tells me he makes made a new friend on Fortnite or whatever, I ask him, I'm like, oh, how old are they, right? He thinks I'm just making conversation. I'm trying to find out if there's any old dudes trying to befriend my son because that is not good behavior. That is not normal. You have to think, like, kids don't have the capacity to understand this, but what could you see in a child where you're like, you know what? This kid is a lot cooler than anybody else I've met my own age. Like that is not right. That is not cool in any way, shape or form. And my son knows like not to befriend those people and to talk to me if one of them is like trying to talk, like this is hurting my brain as a parent. But the next thing is in the same article, she was talking about, no, 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 this was actually a clip where she was talking about how like Drake gives her advice about boys. No, 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 no. There are so many issues with this. So I'm gonna use this as an example, but this goes across the board. So in in 12 step recovery groups, they recommend that men stick with the men, women stick with the women. And this is for a very good reason, okay? Like when you're going through like the process of like steps and things like that, you get really personal, all right? And you talk about very personal things. Sometimes it's like, you know, tra trauma, or sometimes it's, you know, just sexual things or, you know, whatever. And women can relate to women, men can re relate to men. This is different um, in the LGBTQ community, like that's a whole different video. Um, where like, you know, some men have a female sponsor, some female have a, you know, women have a, a male sponsor and stuff like that. But anyways, like there's a reason for that. Now, like Millie Bobby Brown, if she wants a mentor, if she wants an older friend who can help her, her, her with boys, it should be a woman. It should be a woman, okay? Like it is difficult enough for a parent to have certain conversations with their child, but can you imagine a grown man of the opposite sex talking with a 14 year old girl about potentially sexual things? Like that is not okay at all. And it blows my mind that this is A, public, B, people haven't intervened already. Like it makes me sit back and wonder like, what is happening in our society where like, I know I know a lot of people on like Twitter and you know, obviously in my comments, people are freaking out about this stuff, but it bums me out how there are so many people who think this is normal, right? And you have to understand there is a, a power dynamic, okay? So I did a bunch of videos about, you know, Illimation and we talked about the R. Kelly situation. Like there is this, this, aspect of an older person and a younger person because older older people usually have more power and control over a younger person and younger people have that trust for an uh, an adult 
right? They look at them as someone who is smarter, who is wiser, who is kinder, who has been through things, who, um, you know, wouldn't do anything to harm them. But that is because their brains are not fully developed. Like all of you who uh, have been around my channel, you know about the prefrontal cortex, that part of the brain that doesn't fully develop until your mid to late 20s, all right? So this is an issue when you have an older person, like, doing this to a younger person. Now, this is different when it's like, you know, if there was like, a, if if Drake, if Drake was 31, uh, no, no, no. If Drake was like 60 years old and Millie Bobby Brown was like 40 years old, nobody would care. Millie Bobby Brown's brain would be fully developed. She'd have enough experience and all those other things to make her own decisions. But she's a 14 year old girl, okay? So I wanted to bring this to your attention and talk about this because psychologically, this is not a good situation. And and I don't, I don't know, like hopefully, hopefully Drake has some friends that get his ass in check real quick. All right, but anyways, this is something that's kind of bubbled up inside of me. Had to make a video about it. But anyways, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Did you have older friends when you were a teenager and did that turn out well? And I might not even want to know, but again, sharing our experiences can help each other. But I think it's important because I think a lot of the comments I've gotten defending Millie Bobby Brown and her romanticizing um, uh, Penn Bagley's character in You, I think a lot of the comments are from young people. So I just don't think they understand. So maybe you sharing your experiences down below might be able to help them out. And if it is older people leaving those comments, you need to get your act together. My channel is supported by BetterHelp. You need to click down below and get yourself some damn therapy because something with your thought process is not where it should be. All right. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And again, please go follow me on Instagram at The Rewired Soul. We're so close to 10,000 followers. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like access to exclusive content, and you know group calls that we're doing uh next thursday um click a tap right there on the patreon icon all right thanks again so so much for watching i'll see you next time